Hello everyone, how are you all doing? How are your insects going? Today we're going to do the ladybird which is perched on this bit of grass here and I've drawn a kidney shape type outline and stitched that with one strand of the red DMC cotton um, with a split back stitch so all the way around the shape and now I've got two strands and we're going to fill the body with the long and short stitch. So come up in the centre somewhere and take your thread to the outside of the split back stitch outline. And then we're going to do a shorter one again to the outside. And always start in the middle of the shape. These stitches, as we said when we did the dragonfly, can be different lengths and in fact it's better if they are. But broadly speaking, one long and one short. And we want to try and cover this outline. Sneak another one in there. And then go back up to the centre and we'll do another short one at the top there. And then a long one. Another short one. You can see I'm angling my stitches slightly because it's wider at the top than at the bottom. I'm just going to pop another one over that edge there. Now, if you remember for the second row, you come up quite near the top further up than you think and that's because your stitch gets buried so if I do another stitch down here it sort of gets buried in the previous stitches the next one it'll come up a bit further down here and then so the stitches in the second row are actually more or less the same length they just end in different places and start in different places so that one's going a bit further down. And you want the top edge here to be jagged and the bottom edge. So let's go over to the other side now. And I started right up here, so I'm going to start a bit further down. Take one a little bit angled and then go right up to the top. A bit further down. And I want to aim to go over this edge as well. Tiny one in there, and then back to the other side. I think this one I want to put one there, 
and then you'll do a third row so come up about in the center and you want to go all the way to the end but you want your stitches here to be jagged don't do them in a straight line So another word for this technique is called thread painting and I'm now really putting stitches where I feel they need to go. Let's just put one up here. Okay, I think that'll do. The ladybird's markings are done with the grey and some of this, the grey silk has got a bit of purple in it. So try and find the darker bits of grey to do this. And we're just going to do a satin stitch. And we're going to do it in this direction so that it doesn't get lost in the vertical threads. So just a few stitches backwards and forwards you may only need two for each each spot or marking that'll do for one Three. So you only need about five I think so that's the fourth one and then one more here we'll do it there you go now the head, if you've got thread left, you can do the head. In fact, uh, yes, let's come up here and we're just going to do again a satin stitch. So backwards and forwards, start in the centre. And make the stitches very close. do and then there's a couple of um, tenai now also at the bottom here of the body there's a little bit of black or grey I should say so just do a few straight stitches or satin stitch Cross there. Let's just do one more. I think that'll 
do. We're going to do the um, the branch now because we put the the legs on afterwards. The stems are worked with the FS19 and they're done in stem stitch. So a couple of rows, we come up in the middle of those two threads. I'm sure you'll remember from doing the outlining of the hexagons. And right-handers stitch from left to right, left-handers stitch from right to left. So left left-handers will keep their thread at the top as a right-hander I've got my thread at the bottom and I'm just going to do two or three rows of stem stitch on each of these branches here and then we're going to put the legs on top So when you get to the top, you can either finish off or you can run your thread through your stitches at the back and start again down here. So don't turn your work round and go the other way because your stitches will be lying in the wrong direction. And if you remember, when you get to the end, just put a stitch in to complete it. My next row is going immediately underneath or to the right of the previous row. I find it easier to do it like this, so to do the one on top first. And then you can see where you're going. I decided to just do two rows of the stem stitch. Um, I just like that better. Now we're going to give him some legs. So one goes sort of a bit down and it's quite nice if it completely covers that stem stitch, I think. And then there's another one about here. This is good to use up your bits of uh, gray thread. Another one there. And this one at the top here, I think we'll do that one so that it goes down there and then just a tiny bit around the corner. So it looks as if he's wrapping his, his leg around the other side of the piece of grass. So that's your completed ladybird. Next, I think we'll do the snail.